Hello, fighter survivors and thrivers. Welcome to the Cancer Show. It is Cancer Tip Tuesday. And this is my tip. It is a blessing when you find out that although you do indeed have cancer, you do not have it everywhere. This is what I call a good day in the world of cancer. This is what I call a backwards blessing. Throughout my treatment, I experienced many backwards blessings. Now, it started when I had to go and figure out how much cancer I actually had and where it was. So, Friday the 10th of February, yes, <laughs> that's tomorrow, I found out I had cancer. And then I had to wait, thanks Sophia, then I had to wait until the 13th, which was a Monday, pure torture that whole weekend, wondering if it had spread throughout my body or if it was just in one one area it was pro that was the most difficult uh, weekend on, of my life until I lost my sister <laughs> in last May. So went to the doctor and you take uh, the barium, which is a solution, and then they can see where the cancer is and the cancer is not. So this was the 13th and I was, um, I was stage two. That's what I, I ended up being, colon cancer, stage two. So I considered that a blessing because it had not spread anywhere else. And um, I was relieved that it wasn't over my whole body. So that to me was a good thing. And that was February 13th. So I use 13 all the time. It's one of my favorite numbers. And I also feel like the number 13 gets a bad, bad rap. Bad rap. <laughs> Although whenever I say that, my daughter Sophia comes out with this whole list of what happens with the number 13. I'm like, that may be true, but that's not what the number 13 is for me. It's a good number. It was a great day. It was a day of relief. It was a day of hope. And um, I honor the number 13. So going forward, that was one of the very first backwards blessing, blessings. Then going forward into radiation, um, my doctor discussed with me um, uh, uh, discussed taking out all of my female parts during surgery and I said that I didn't want to because I actually did want to have more babies. Uh, the doctor knew that was that was not possible and somewhere in my mind I I'm sure I did as well but I did not um, I did not want to accept that. I said I didn't want to take out my body parts. Now I kind of wish that I had because <laughs> then it would I just be like, you know, clear, for lack of a better word. And um, and I wouldn't have to. Well, I don't actually think about it, but it it would have been a good option. But I just couldn't go there. And my doctor was gracious enough to understand the state of mind that I was in. He did not push me. And so I did not, I did not get any of my parts taken out and I was not able to have any more ba ba babies. So it was a, oh my goodness, my puppy is chewing. <laughs> it's chewing up the cabinet. Um, George, come here. Here, let me get George. Sorry guys. Georgie Porchy. Come here, baby. Hi. 
You cannot do that. You can't eat it. Oh my goodness. Let's show George. Oh, let's show. Here's George. Here's George. Here's George. Okay. Where is your, where's your favorite little bone? Chew toy. Okay. This is like great timing, huh, guys? Huh. Okay. Let me see if he will sit with us. So, yes, I was not able to have any more babies. Um, but here's the backwards blessing. I already had my babies. I had a girl and I had a boy and they were happy and healthy and I was blessed. So the backwards blessing in that was that I'd already had my children and I had my babies late. I have them. I had my babies at 38 and 39 years old. So thank the good Lord that I had had my babies by then because, um, well, I don't know what the options would have been, but it definitely wouldn't have been, um, easy. So that was another big blessing and then backwards blessing. And then I got really sick after my second chemo, I ended up in the hospital with teflitis which is basically chemo poisoning. And I know I've talked about this before. Uh, a lot of things happened when I had to fly this. <laughs> a lot of backwards blessings happened. Oh my gosh. Now the OG dog wants to go out. All right. Hang on. Sophia, honey. Sophia. I'm live right now. Can you help me with the dogs, please? <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> Chaos. Thank you. He's eating the cabinet. Oh, George. Oh, George. Thank you, Sophia. Save the day. Save the day. Uh, and take Delage, too, please. Uh, so, yeah, I get checked into the hospital with teflitis, which is chemo poisoning. I was so, so sick. Oh, my gosh. So sick. And, um,. This doctor comes in, so there's hospitalists. I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but there's a hospitalist who works in the hospital and then they talk to your doctor and they figure out what to do, what whatever's best for you. But the hospitalist is the person that's taking care of you, the doctor, in the hospital. So here I am, <laughs> just a hot mess, and this gorgeous doctor comes in. She's beautiful and she comes up. And she's like tapping away. She's looking at me. She comes back. She asked me another question. Look at me and come back. Very confident. Very bold. And um, she said to me, well, I don't know what's wrong with you, but I'm going to figure it out. And <laughs> I remember thinking, that's not good. I, I want you to, like, I need you to know what's wrong with me, right? That's just not good. Um, anyways, that was Dr. Sabetti. Dr. Mona Sabetti of Cedar sinai And Mona is one of my very, very, very best friends now. We connected on an amazing level. And she would sit with me after work and talk to me. And um, she even gave me her cell number if I needed to call her. I actually did call her once because I was afraid to eat anything or drink anything because I just, I just can't keep anything down. So I texted her and she said it was like, you know, three in the morning. I don't remember that. I was on dilated, I think by that time, or maybe it was still on morphing. I don't know. It was on something. And she said, you called me at like three in the morning to ask if you could drink some Gatorade. <laughs> I like, I did. She's like, yeah. I'm like, what did you say? You say, I said, yes. <laughs> so apparently I uh, texted her uh, early in the morning. Anyway, since then, now eight years later, we are still the best of friends. She is a backwards blessing. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Not that I got to fly this, but I'm so happy that I ended up in that hospital the same time that she was working and that I was, um, her patient. It's a huge hospital. What are the chances? So I feel very, very, very blessed by that, um, chance encounter. I mean, she's one of my favorite people. I love you, Mona. I love you. I'm a love you, Mona June. I love you. Uh, okay. And then, um, moving forward, 
I, I was, uh, I needed to change oncologists and this was the perfect time to do it. <laughs> so that also was a backwards blessing because now I had uh, a reason, you know, I had a reason to change my oncologist. Not that the other one was bad, but I don't know if, um, it was a perfect fit and you should always feel like you have an excellent fit with your oncologist. Holy cow, Batman. Okay, hi Delilah. This is the OG dog. You wanna sit down? Everybody wants to be around me because I feed them. Okay, that's what that's what's up. And because I love them, I, I spoil them. I spoil my kids, my children, my dogs, you name it. Uh, okay, so backwards blessing was stage two on the 13th so those are two things and then Mona and uh, my new oncologist and then uh, my new oncologist was referred to somebody who worked in my husband's office at that time and he didn't take people he's always busy so I was very blessed that um, we had this recommendation and then I was that I got in to see him, Dr. Decker. Dr. Decker, oh, I love my doctors. I love my doctors. <laughs> um, okay, so another backwards blessing was um, I had, they had to do, they had to do another procedure to check for lymph nodes, okay? So they did that biopsy and when I came out of that procedure, I had stage three colon cancer. <laughs> so this was, I think it was a couple weeks later. It all happened so quickly. It's like literally you have cancer and that's like, oh, it's like, oh my gosh. And you're just like going, what the heck is going on? All this stuff is coming at you and trying to process, process, process. And you're going here, you're going here. And it's like, oh, it's, it's intense. An intense experience. So I go in and um, I come out in stage three, and I'm like, okay, fine, stage three, not stage four, not that, you know, for all of you, stage four fighters, go for it. I mean, that's awesome. It's, it's, I mean, it's awesome that you still, you know, you're here. You know, it's not like there's no stage five. So any stage and we're still alive and we still have the ability to fight to, you know, choose the kind of treatment that we want, whether it's organic or, or traditional, we, we have that. We have, as long as we're at a stage, okay, just any stage, one, two, three, four, of course you want to be lower, but you know, you know, we still have a lot of things to be grateful for no matter stage four or stage one. So here I am now at stage three. I'm like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's work with it. And I did. So those were some of the major backwards blessings that I experienced. And all the time I'm aware of backwards blessings just in life, right? Because now I'm, 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 rec I'm in remission. I'm considered cure cured at this point. Um, but I see backwards blessings all the time. And I'm just, I'm just asking you to be aware of those backwards blessings and to share below your backwards blessing or blessings multiple. And if you're, if you're a caretaker, if you're helping somebody, or maybe you are, um, you know, you're in a group. If you notice a backwards blessing, you know, say something about it, share it, or or bring bring that bring the attention to that person of that blessing, because sometimes it's hard to see the blessings when you're stressed and terrified and full of anxiety and maybe depression, pain, nause, nauseous. You know, sometimes it's hard to see the regular blessings and the backwards blessings. So look around, 
you will notice how many actual backwards backwards blessings there are and you'll be like if that didn't happen then this wouldn't have happened yeah that's that's the beauty of a backwards blessing all right my dears uh thank you so much for joining me on cancer tip tuesday i will see you tomorrow uh, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be doing our workout, cancer-centric workout. So come prepared with proper footwear, comfortable workout clothing. And um, if you have weights, light weights, or even like soup cans, that's fine too. And a mat. If you are in the hospital, you can do it from your bed. You do not have to actually get up and do all of it you can modify it and I will give you those options um, or you can do it from a chair it's just really about us moving together as one and um, allowing our bodies to embrace our strength because it's so easy just to not do anything right it's so easy to not but we have to do we have to do because when we're healthier we will heal faster all right I am healthy I am happy I am whole daily mantra I am healthy I am happy I'm whole say it with me like you mean it I am healthy I am happy and I am whole.